What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. And in this episode, we are besieging this French capital. That's right, of the Spanish Empire. I mean, cause, because this city didn't have much of a garrison before we went in, they got plenty of artillery, but they've also got plenty of militia, and they have some reinforcements coming in from the back of the map, but not enough to make a difference against our glorious troops. We have a very elite army, recruited from London, who stormed across the channel and has landed in a port and immediately ran for uh, Paris. That's a classic reason why you don't want your ports exposed, because the army that is embarked still gets to use their movement points, which feels a bit cheap, but whatever. We're going to take out Paris and destroy the Spanish, because they think, well, they're not destroyed. Um, one of these armies will be sailing to Cagliari to destroy Spain for good, but let us not get distracted. Let us attack the force under Jimenez Servino, who is quite elite. He's more elite than our field marshal. Well, I'm pretty sure he's a... Is he not a field marshal? Just a common guard and general's bodyguard. Mark Cochran. My mistake. But yes, we're going to destroy the Spanish garrison here at Paris and take it for ourself. ourselves. And the armies we do have in northeastern Spain need to march up to the front pretty rapidly to secure it against a probable marauding French force. But yes, we need to... Well, I, I pretty much want to conquer as much of Western Europe as possible because when the war with Prussia does begin, I want us to be in a strong position. This is a lovely position for the guns. Especially as we're going to be on the offensive. So, my fusiliers, they're going to be out on the right front rank, on, they're going to be wide. They're going to be protected by three regiments of line infantry. And then the left flank is going to have four unit, uh, three regular infantry units plus two regiments of grenadier guards. Get some heavies and lights on the left. Our Royal Cuirassier Guard can go up onto the right flank. Because there's a chance the, gen the enemy might enter the field from over here down the line. So they have a unit of mortars on the flank already, out on the right. So let's march our troops up. The enemy does have a strong position on the left flank, so let's position our troops ready for that. Our howitzers are going to fire explosive shots onto the left. Our cavalry, or at least my regiment of horse, are going to be looking for a way through the centre. Well, you guys might actually have to be positioned more like this, but at the very least they don't have quick climb. So that's something at least. This mortar garrison unit on the flank is getting absolutely pounded. Push my heavy cavalry up. My regiment of horse get here to cover the gap between our lines. Okay, we've got one unit that's engaging the militia. Or engaging the, uh, the, the hussars. So let's get my cavalry into the mix. Get these grenadiers to get these grenadiers on guard mode. Let's charge the hussars preemptively. Get these grenadiers to form square because they're going to get hit. Chase our heavy cavalry up the left flank. Run up the right flank. The regiment of dragoons has been. Oh, they dismounted and then they've decided they're going to run. So let's form up. Good, so this is our unit can go straight through into the town. Pivot this flank, you guys attack the mortar garrison, or chase them down and kill them. A heavy artillery engage. Battlefield targets. Broadly. The left flank is getting the infantry getting mopped up despite the heavy firepower of their guns. So get our heavy cavalry to chase down the general's bodyguard. 
pivot this flank. Let's get ready to see where the reinforcements come in from. Because I am curious. Run straight through these guys. Straight through. You're wavering because you're running through a combat. There we go. Ah, oh, my lifeguards are getting too many easy kills. Let's keep them running on the way. We've killed the enemy general. Let's move up our infantry line. Let's get my cavalry to also come over here. My lifeguards are upset, probably from mortar fire. If I were a betting man, I would say that's probably it. Our, ca our hussars have been chased down. So let's take this infantry, push them up, let's get both of our heavy our, um, horse guard units to attack them there. You guys keep running, let's get this cavalry out of here to hit that field artillery regiment. The Light Dragoons are coming in, let's get our howitzers to switch to round shot and begin to try and do some element of counter battery. The heavy cavalry is about to get charged by the heavy horse. Let's bring up our right flank. The enemy reinforcements are coming in from the rear. Yeah, the howitzers are just very bad. So you want to get our cavalry on the move. Let's try run you past these marines and all these other baddies to hit the mortars. So let's get you men form line here. Get you men into the house. Get all our artillery to focus on this unit of Irish regiment to the rear. Ignore the actions of these cavalry. Let's pivot you guys to face down the garrison militia. This left flank needs to advance a bit. Bring our heavy cavalry in. I have no objection to losing them against mortars because killing mortars is a lovely thing to do. Advance you men up to chase down or to head off the reinforcements. You guys form up and fire into the back of this combat. Yeah, regiment of horse have gone. But that's understandable. Or how it says can aim at the 19th regiment on the flank just to try to chase them away. There they go. These three units can try chase away that unit of garrison militia. These two unit can, units can storm up to the center and try and do some more useful things. Field artillery. One of you engage the engineers, the other engage the fusiliers. Bring our heavy cavalry back. This light infantry unit form up. Give it abuse fusiliers, load and fire into the combat. It will cause us some problems from a morale perspective, but these guys, you've got them trapped in a bit of a bit of a bottleneck. Especially when we bring up Okay, right, you guys have to get into the centre because those fusiliers are gonna get charged. The fusiliers do not do well when charged. Let's bring this cavalry back. Change our howitzer priority target, actually stop them from firing. Especially when these guys are against marines, those fusiliers are going to fall thick and fast. No. 
you guys over here rapidly. Get our artillery to focus on this unit. Oh no, they're out of range. Too bad. Charge the marines in the rear. Ah, field artillery engage the line cavalry. Same with the howitzers. Ah, the marines are causing us issues on the flank. Let's combine these units a bit rearward. Yeah, Fusiliers are not, and they are very upset. Understandably, we expect we knew well, we knew that was going to be the outcome. I pull the formation away so that no one's getting shot in the rear. So they've came, they've come back. So you, you guys, pivot and continue the fight. There we go. So these troops that are in the centre are going to fall to our bayonets, seemingly in due course. Let's pivot these guys back because they're getting shot in the flank by the line cavalry. We've demolished, nearly demolished this farmhouse. Let's get our heavy cavalry up. Let's get the Grenadier Guards to block off this position here. This unit of Fusiliers can form up. Curacier Guards engage the Lone Cavalry. Let's get our, our field artillery to focus on other targets. Yeah, if these guys stay here, they can provide a bit of mutual support. Bring my general over onto the left flank. Get the line infantry to engage the combat against the garrison militia. Get my heavy cavalry around here as well. Actually, let's get my heavy cavalry to go chase down those artillery teams. You guys form a bit of a, a front against any more reinforcements. We have to be careful of the stakes. Make sure these guys are guard mode off when they attack the militia. You guys can try charge the 19th. push up the infantry. Let's see if this cavalry charge seals the deal for these militia. Feels like it should. There they go. So my cavalry is up here chasing down their infantry. Obviously we've got some the line cavalry return so we're going to drop some of our guys into square to deal with that threat. These men are still engaging, but with these two units in square, they're going to be dealt with pretty efficiently. Let's get our cavalry back because they do have some square, some stakes pointing kind of forward. Let's just bring this heavy cavalry unit back to the centre. Smash into the back of those militia and cause the downfall, final downfall of the Spanish garrisons. Everyone else is routing, so oh, they've broken as well. Hurrah! Much bloodier than I would have liked, but then again, that's what fighting inside the towns can actually be. Yeah, we lost nearly half our army there. And just that we require some infantry support to be recruited. But Paris hates us, so let's demolish the college. Let's see how far that goes to helping us out. Hugely. Demolish the college, we'll get back 11, public order, and we're on minus 9. Hooray! And it looks like Spain doesn't really have anything that can stop us because we have our armies here in northern Spain have broken their remaining forces in the field. You can't hit them yet, so you guys just move up to the front. Your 
do uh, yeah you can, you can keep going to Strasbourg but yeah we've conquered northern we've conquered western Europe okay so you are well, one more turn to your suite of um, fifth rates is done you're recruiting your militia to occupy that port so you're at full strength we're recruiting more troops one more ships a stack of fourth rates that are going to go off to a trade zone but which one to pick this is france the marathas what's the best trade resource tea can't get tea i'm pretty sure it's only sugar and ivory and ivory is pretty good i think i'm gonna want my i think i'm gonna want my um other fleet ready before I invade or or bring the war to um, the Ivory Coast. What about the Straits of Madagascar? There's no enemies there. Greece, Barbary States, Denmark, 13 colonies in the Ottomans. Okay, so it looks like the Ivory Coast is our only real option. But I do want to get up some proper ships over there to clear the way. So let's hit in turn. Good. Our spies are continuing along up towards the enemy we want one army to swing east immediately to face off against the French in North Italy and we also need some to swing we also need, uh, we need some to swing east actually to face Northern Italy we need some to go north to fight against Amsterdam Spain is determined to uh, try and cause as much economic havoc as possible but that will be their downfall because we're going to go and land and take Sardinia and then that will also mean that uh, I'll open up some uh, you demand peace I bet you do nope sorry Spain you're going down the Armada no more at some point when, when we fight Prussia that's going to be a hell of a fight when they betray us because it definitely is a when they betray us. I need to keep my gradual recruitment ready. Wait a minute. Who owns Finland? Is that Spain or is that France? Because it's not us. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. It might be France. If it is France, then, maybe we, will, then we will attack. Hey, Denmark is one to watch. Yeah, you can you can attack someone in the Middle East, in the Middle East, in the Mediterranean. That's fine. Wurttemberg, I was gonna say Wurttemberg knows something that's up. Let's not. Ooh, do I call my allies in to see if it potentially? Hmm. If this is World War Three, let's do it. Prussia backed us. The Ottomans didn't back them. That's very important. So now we have the legitimacy we need. I don't. I mean, if you guys don't don't attack, don't attack me. Do I call my allies in against the Barbary states? I think I do, in case Prussia joins them. Very well, Barbary States. Then your end is also near. So let's hop back over to the Americas. I don't think I've got a proper... F oh, I've got a reasonable fleet. Especially against a bunch of light galleys. Oh, God, I... Yeah, go on, auto-resolve. Do your stuff. So they lost nine ships. So let's take these all these Jebex into our service. So where are you sailing off to? If you sail off down towards the, um, North America, that's okay because I've got an army there. Oh, I did have. So we can't ch conclusively chase down and destroy either of them. So let's get them back to Holguin. 
Let's get replenished and let's get let's get an admiral and two third rates to join them. So this army that's in Lisbon currently not doing anything. Well, these two militia units. One of you can go to here. The other can be disbanded. You men march to Tangier under the command of a a Randall Axford. You men can recruit. Well, first, I think I should probably better be better off doing it. Let's recruit preemptively. So you need two howitzers, and you've got four spaces for an infantry unit, two raw Cairo infantry guard. And maybe a lifeguard unit. Maybe. Let's get ready with better roads. Let's leave the dry... Actually, let's get you to be a steam dry duck. So you're ready to sail off to a trade zone. So let's stack you up at Sandy Bay. And let's get some... Uh, get some more fifth rates on the go. So you've got one turn to wait. So get some... Oh, that's a lot of... We spent a lot of cash very quickly. So let's get you to fight. Okay, get you to chase down Eduardo Riviera. Proud and victorious. At the ready. Because we do have a, a big city to actually bring under our control. So let's repair the main government building. You march up to attack them. So we've got lots of armies that will be depleted. But Andrew Hardy. Go up to the north, the northern edge of this border here. George Wade. Get up to hold this bridge. You guys push up to about here. Bill Bow can go. You can come down here to fight to get, get shipped off shipped off to Sardinia. Horace Davidson can Onward! leave the garrison duty. No, he can't. So yeah, you're still cha you're going to be chasing down your suitable army for a while. Got a bunch of new upgrades. Some lower tier ones like Morocco would be handy to have upgraded before then. Small Spanish annoying fleet is attacking us. Looks like it is interfering some of our trade with, with some of our trade, but that's okay. The main thing is to try and bring Paris under our control. Let's demolish the dry dock. Let's make Paris economically focused. So all of our ports be trade ports. That would be a, a good outcome, I think. But yeah, I, I got way too trigger happy spending money then. Fortunately, the French are continuing to attack the enemy to the east. Spain is going to also attack another one of our ports. So they've got... British trade shut down quite conclusively, um, but it's not going to be the end result they quite hoped for. We're probably going to lose a handful of territories to the Barbary States in short order. But that should be okay. We do have, I mean, we were positioning troops to try and fight against the 13 colonies. So it would have been, it would be, it would have been nice to have not needed to recall them, but recall them we must, or at least one of them. It's unlikely that they will, that the Barbary states will recall their ships. Denmark are going to deploy more troops. Oh, we didn't check who owned Finland. Well, I ran out of money too quickly. That was the problem there. I'm really curious about who they're attacking, who the Danish are attacking here. Is it the Ottoman Empire? 
Or is it Russia? Yeah, Württemberg is... They declared on us, so they better make use of it. Are they going to join their fleets? Okay, they're going off to Jamaica. Looks like both of them are, which is very useful, because it means it'll only be one fight to take the territory back, rather than two. 45,000 required territory. Okay, let's send you on a long walk to Yankton. Okay, so they haven't both deployed their ships here. So let's bring just our big ships. I'm assuming those Jebeks are going to go to go on to trade duty. Let's bring them back in. So that army's been that one's been sunk. This as has that fleet. But yeah, we aren't going to get there in time to stop them from attacking because our only the only ship the only army we have. It's, no, actually, you're in a quite a good position. I did not remember that Savannah had a port. So let's get this army under Timothy Sutton into St. Mary's. Let's get them down to Jamaica. Underway. Get you guys embarked. Let's get you guys into Jamaica. Let's evict... Oh. Okay, I might have to move you guys out first. Then move you guys in. Although, to be honest, I probably will end up attacking them. Because they do have... They do have... Well, I don't have any walls, so I can't have a fun uh, battle watching them try and scale our fortifications. But first of all, let's hop back over to England. Let's upgrade two of these oh, top-tier industry buildings. Lots of top-tier industry buildings. Oh, that's going to be so good. But we want... Okay, let's get a sloop here. Don't upgrade you to a major fishery. Let's start doing some repairs here in Paris. And make the investments we want to make. You guys have to repair, replenish. We have to do a lot of government repairs. Let's upgrade you to a church school while we also demolish this seminary. You guys just go straight up and attack that small Spanish army there. So you men also replenish and get to the north. No, you can actually stay there. You men replenish and hold your ground. You men are waiting for your two howitzers. So then you guys can replenish and carry on up to the north. We can get cobbled roads in Paris, although it's not going to help them too much. You're going to move south. You guys are going to move into Morocco. Wait for other units to be recruited and then be on your way. Because we know the Danish are going to be... Well, the, the Ottomans are going to try their luck. So I may take Norbert Vaughan's yes. fleet. Yes, my lord. Ready for action. Sail them to the West African Trade Theatre to clear the way. We do need ships up here as well. But let's try and make this not such a beefy fleet. Can't bridge you to a. Don't agree you to anything yet. Lots of good upgrades, but again, it's a. We, got, we just got so much, so much stuff to spend money on. Yeah, we are the formation of the next fleet. No, yeah, workers aren't, aren't on strike anymore. Realistically, we could do with... We could do with having a... Uh, 
happiness building rather than the university, but you know it's a modern university, you don't just pass them up. Two turns till a whole bunch of new technologies get finished, which is great, but let's hop back over to the Americas. Where this force under Timothy Sutton can attack and destroy the Barbary States, who dare declare war on us. And they will do nothing but bring death and destruction to their own lands. But yeah, once we knock out Cagliari, that will knock out the Spanish that are a thorn in our sides. You'll give us a good base in the Mediterranean while we advance across North Africa and then create another front line with the Ottomans. But because this is a predominantly infantry army, let us create an almighty line to swamp the poor Barbary states. So our pikes going to go push through the town on the right. Actually our pikes and our buccaneers are going to push up through the town on the right. All my cavalry go on the left. General in the centre. Yeah, just push up. Looks like they are determined to dig in in the town. And they are absolutely welcome to do that. If they want to create a, a, a choke point that I can focus my gunnery onto. You're focusing the artillery, that's the... I should really have targeted you against the camel nomads. So you know desert warriors all the way back here. Don't worry, this flank's going to swing around. Hold on, let's let my pikes go first charging the camels, lest they find an easy option and charge my buccaneers. Yeah, my cavalry can deal with these militia. You guys fill in this gap because it looks like we're going to have a a big melee jamboree, and they are entitled to have a big melee jamboree. But I want all these guys to come around the back because they do want to have a massive melee fight. This is why you have pikes. We must have had some nearby artillery fire cause some upset to my infantry. Yes, we are going to have a big melee jamboree. Go get them, pikemen. Those, the camel gunners have fired a volley into the back of these troops. That's caused some problems. Those Amazons are going to get bumped into by my infantry. My pikes might actually fall sooner than I would like. Fine. Deploy you guys into square. Because they might actually fall to the Barbary pirates. You guys attack them. You guys, actually, you guys charge the desert warriors. You guys come around this side and charge them in the flank. Yeah, just hit the Amazons. This infantry unit's holding the square. Surround the combat with my guys. You guys clear out the guns. You guys charge into that melee infantry unit. You guys charge into the back of the Desert Warriors. You guys get over to this side. Stop the artillery from firing. It's causing too much, too much upset. My Buccaneers are very upset. So let's get some infantry over to help them. I mean, alright. Those guys disregarded my orders, but sure. 
But yeah, their infantry is just being surrounded. Fight on if you dare. Plenty of them are coming back. Some of my art some of my infantry is attacking their general. Keep on fighting the desert warriors. Oh, nice kill. Yeah, the Barbary pirates starting to break from a melee perspective. Form line. My pikes charge in. Let's get my buccaneers back out of the way. General's bodyguard just getting shot by a huge cloud of muskets. Nah, we don't need him. These guys are enough. My pikes will clear out the camel gunners. Apparently they are winning decisively. But I fail to see how that will last. That's an excellent cannon shot. run my... Oh, those guys broke. They shouldn't have broken that easy. I mean, my buccaneers broke. Yeah, fair enough. So. Bring you guys across. Bring you guys across. Just surround them. See men are firing at will. They're all firing at will. I thought those guys would come back. Yep, we're firing by rank into this mess, which means these camels will... But this is the best outcome. Because it means that they're all, not only are they hitting the desert warriors, that fire by rank means any shots that miss are going to kill all these camels. So let's begin curving the flank around. Let's have some guys continue to face off against the probable in axis of enemy attack. These guys are not deployed efficiently, but it really doesn't matter. Our volleys are doing a lot of damage, although interestingly the 25th are actually ups volley fire from the Desert Warriors is actually enough to cause them to cause them to break. That's interesting to see. So what about you guys? Steady. I know they're tired, but their guys are tired as well. Bring you across. Just keep bringing the troops over to keep firing into the into the centre of the fight. Because eventually they will either run or we will just kill them where they stand. So let's charge you guys into combat against the warriors here. You guys just pivot. General's bodyguards getting shot to bits. You guys don't fire because you want to shoot into the back of your infantry. You might actually... You did catch them. Unless that's the general, which it actually is. Got him. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's no point worrying about the pursuit. Because they're on an island, they can't go anywhere. Chomp. By the left. So, to be honest, Jamaica's not a bad place to send these guys because they do need some artillery and a bit of bit of extra cavalry, which is pretty nice. So yeah, these guys are rebuilding. So all these all these Jebex, once they've cleared out the trade zones, will head east. Sweet, all my troops are marching up. So let's hit end turn. Obviously my spies and other troops are going to continue advancing. But right now we need to 
really hammer home the economy upgrades because the Ottoman Empire in particular are going to be a dangerous country to attack. But I don't think I really have the economy that I would like to fight them. Because yeah, they're slowly just gathering in strength, and they've the the central block can the central powers rather can put more troops um, into fighting me in the east than I'm capable of doing. So that's part of the reason why I'm so keen to attack from the west to create a second front. Force them to split their efforts. Württemberg is attacking north. Oh, Denmark again, dropping even more troops in to fight Sweden. Sweden... This might be my first campaign ever where Denmark has knocked out Sweden. I don't, I don't remember the last time it happening to me. It won't save them. They will fall most assuredly like all of the rest. I do admire their gumption, though. Yep, yeah, so understandably, Württemberg are driving in. I mean, they might have made a blunder there, because they could... Well, then again, actually, Württemberg is an actual empire now. Rather than a single state... A single state empire... A rake in Cuba, that's not going to be super useful. Yeah, we need to get... Okay. We need to get troops. More troops over to the capital rapidly. You can't get to the port in time. Your Majesty. You guys can march north. Okay, where can we... The only place we can maybe pinch an army from is here. Maybe. We'd have to go in strength. So we'd need... Like this fleet. So where can you guys... Well, we can't see where you can go yet, but I think I need to steal this army. You guys sail out. You can get to La Havre. And the army can cover a decent enough distance to drive east and block Württemberg from getting a free march onto the capital. Get some more infantry on the go. Get you guys back here. That doesn't that does delay our attack on Cagliari a bit, but I think it's worthwhile doing. Let's upgrade a whole bunch of our industry. Because we've now got access to top tier factories and cloth mills. New town in lower you know, lower rock in Louisiana. Okay, we need to unlock the wealth of all of these smaller towns. Nation destroyed Hanover. So Württemberg is actually fairly powerful now. So you're ready to hold position here. You guys are ready to hold position there. To hold off the French. Such as it is, they're actually a bit weak, but that's okay. You can make make haste to Paris with all speed. Let's not upgrade. Let's not upgrade the. Uh, uh, let's not upgrade the um, industry buildings in France yet. Okay, you guys need you. Got, these are going to be the guys that probably end up attacking. Oh, it's annoying. I can't get the last, the edge of the final bit of Dragoons. Because this Light Dragoon unit is the second to the last on the right, but I can't get the very last one. Let's recruit Light Dragoons. Let's assume they have a similar capability to help 
keep help um, support their public order problems. Randall Axford, you can leave Morocco. March onward to Algiers. Gibraltar. Oh no, you've got... Who Did you pick up a militia unit? Oh no, Desert. Yeah, the Desert Militia. You guys want to come down to the port. They can continue to push, but the cavalry will join them. Again, we've got a lot of questions around upgrades. You know, mining industrial complex isn't a bad option. Upgrading Easter palatial estate isn't a bad option. One more turn till we get quick lime, steam harvesting, and coppered bottoms, which is lovely. More troops in Moscow. More troop. More ships in the Caribbean. So that fleet. Well, if I move these smaller ships out. Let's see, I move them over to San Juan. Yes, my lord. Ships order. There, you're quite a decent sized fleet. 49,000 a turn, but we're losing a bunch a bunch of things through blockades. That's these scamps over here, but we can't really do anything about them. Although we can. No, we haven't got the range. Not anymore. But yeah, at least putting Sir William Pepperell there, we have a chance. We will at least... We're within range of Paris, so during an actual fight we will be able to support them. But if these guys march the right... Actually, you guys might... Making the march around Paris might make... You might actually save them. If this is your zone of control, which it might not be because you've got no movement points, you might help. So let's try and assassinate Gottlieb... F Fresenius. Will be a mystery. Our other spies are still doing okay. Oh, it's Persia that owns Finland. Okay. Estonia in one more turn will be completely Protestant. Then we'll ship, move them over to St. Petersburg. Again, I know I need to spend more money in this area, but I just can't. Let's hit end turn. Could upgrade the road in Archangels, but they they can they can take their time to march up. I'm not too bothered about the efficiency of moving up my re my reinforcements in Russia. But if I can open up a new front, because look at that that cluster of Prussian troops is going to explode like a tumor and just go in every direction when we eventually do declare war. Yeah, you got to fight, Sweden. you got to fight for your survival now. Oh, I remember. Apologies for the disruption. Um, I accidentally yanked out my my uh, my computer's uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the cable from the underside of my microphone. But as you can see, putting William Pepperell up th up threat has actually resulted in the effect we want, and we can draw all of the. Württemberg troops into one giant fight. Um, which I am going to fight, even though it'll probably take us hugely over. But let's do it, because that's all three Württemberg stacks that can be um, repulsed in one large battle. It's a bit of a risk, but, you know, I think we're capable of it. And it'll be interesting to see how the... Uh, research side of it works because we are one turn away from getting quick climb does that one turn count during do i get it when i hit end turn and during the end turn phase have i unlocked it or do i unlock it at the start of the turn start of the turn it looks like um so it's deployed us on the river but there's definitely going to be some guys on our side of the river i would imagine so let's deploy one gun team like this, in case it isn't, because we definitely want them fighting over the river. Let's deploy four, five in... Eh. 
four infantry units on one flank. Let's deploy four infantry units. No, that's way too many for the bridge. Deploy three on the bridge. This gun team can sit in the middle on this raised terrain, firing every which way but loose. Two howitzers guard the ford. One howitzer guard the left flank. So then we've got a marine and a line infantry unit, plus all my cavalry and a clansman unit in reserve. I mean, if they are just going to come from one side of the river, that would be epic, but I'm too full of PTSD to think that's they're going to let us have that battle in such a convenient way. But let's at least start to move some of our forces around the flanks. Actually, you guys can fire a carcass shot now into the 17th regiment. It looks like they are going to actually try and attack both areas at once. It's a pity you guys haven't got shrapnel shot because that would be pretty awesome but keep blasting the center with round shot that's your job these guys can just shoot at whoever they fancy they're ready to kill anyone who crosses the bridge we have a reinforcing army coming in from back here which is pretty good pretty good it's pretty good he says that's really good so one of these units can just keep dropping carcass shot in the center. So fortunately we're getting sound bugs. Let's spread you guys out a little bit more. Same with you guys like so. Hmm, someone on a on a um on a blender's just gone past outside the window. So the 17th Regiment of Force is. getting bombarded by carcass shot. They likely won't cross here because they normally never do. Can't. Canister shot inbound. Good. They might actually cross, try cross the bridge here, in which case then you guys keep dropping carcass shot short of the bridge. Like I said, this heavy horse artillery can just shoot whoever they want. Carcass shot goes in, does a good amount of damage. Okay, I might want my clan... Um, well, I don't necessarily need my clansmen over here. Let's drop you guys both into square. To be honest, if it's just cavalry coming across, let's drop them all into square for now. The Gorky Hussars. They can't make up their mind where they want to go. Hey, they must have touched my howitzers. Yeah, got some cavalry over to do my own counter charges if it's necessary. Here they have decided what they're going to do. And these howitzers are just going to slowly pick them apart because of it. <laughs> yeah, this, though, these artillery units of the rear can just do so much damage. Yeah, the six, seventh light horse are just going to get sucked into our squares and annihilated. Okay, I should have... I think hit the 16th. Poor, poor cavalry. You go stop shooting. I 
They're still doing some firing some excellent shots into the flanks of this infantry here. But when those guys have decided they've had enough of this senseless slaughter, the informer goes back into line. Okay, so the general's coming in. New man, fire canister at the general. Let's do some mischief from a morale perspective. Oh, obviously the sound pops right at that moment. Slice. We can now keep blasting the crossing because we know they're coming. Stop my clansmen from shooting my men in the back. Let's get my get this cavalry over here in case they're needed. Okay, you guys now fire because you can knock out the seventh. Stop to reload. There we go. All these guys go back into back into regular formation. You guys blast the 12th regiment with canister shot because we really need to get my guys firing by rank. Car carcass shot still going in. The 12th regiment has been annihilated. Now let's watch as if we were a Württemberg soldier being asked to cross this bridge, cross this ford. Men are reloading. Artillery shot still hitting home. This is a round shot from that central heavy horse unit. Get my artillery to focus on the cavalry that's trying to come through. Canister shots flaying these troops alive. The artillery's pile in, so that's the unit of mercenaries broken and routed. The provincial cavalry, they're still surging through as a giant leap. Oh, this carcass shot's gonna do some great damage. Yep, that's blown a hole in their position, in their formation. As my fire, as my volleys start to slam home as well. Yep, many, many, many Württembergs are down. To slam my canister shots into the guys at the head of the column. Yeah, they think crossing in on mass is the best idea. I assure you, it isn't. All round shots slamming in, sending up great spouts of water. You guys fire at the guys at the back. More support coming in. Okay, artillery. Focus the general's bodyguard. Again, it's just because when they shoot at cavalry, they start to ripple shot, and you want them to actually fire by rank, not fire individual individual um, units at once. Yeah, that's the first wave repulsed. Nope. The eleventh are in town. I mean, they look good, but they've got bay they don't have bayonets. So the Highlander Independents are in a good position to do some damage. Yep, volleys are coming in. They got off one volley of fire, at least. Okay, get my cavalry to focus on, on this provincial cavalry unit. Because my men will lose. They'll take pot shots individually. But what you want is those those volleys. There they go. They're shattered, which is perfect news. Carcass shots still going in against these guys all the way at the rear. So let's get my howitzers to focus at focus on units a bit closer to home. You guys all the way back there can't really do much, so let's switch you to round shot and you guys can hit whoever comes in on that flank. I can't limber them up because the horses have been routed. There's even more canister shot hits home. Oh, Gorky Hussars, I meant to focus, should have focused on you. 
More artillery shot coming in, more canister shots. I mean, so that's the... <sighs> such beautiful slaughter. So you're now trying to engage the Hussars. So you guys focus on the... Actually no, focus on the Hussars because they're close. Okay, now focus on the line infantry because they're about to cross. Carcass shot coming in. Canister shots tearing lines in the ranks of the 11th. Comes the General's bodyguard. Watch out, Scottish Highlanders, they're coming for you. No, it's the ninth thereafter. It's another General's bodyguard unit. Yeah. Such beautiful slaughter. It's the 38th. Our information state's pretty good. You guys deploy into square. Coming in. Yeah. Good hits. Okay, let's keep canister shot blasting this crossing. Let's get these two regiments in to fill the gap. There we go, another massive route. Plenty of these units will probably come back. Still a good result. Then in comes the 23rd. Go on. Field artillery. Blast them! Oh god! You've. Plenty has been asked of you. Okay, let's speed up time. Because that's just slaughter. You focus on them, you focus on them. My gunner back here. Focus on the 14th. Blast them! Boom! Oh, good shots. Yeah, the 14th. They've been shot to pieces. Back they go, they're shattered. In comes the 6th Regiment. Again, it's another Western European Infantry Mercenary Unit. This is Gorky Hussar Unit. It's not in great shape. Oh god. They're getting worse. Carcass shot coming in. Yep. Yeah. Uni Provincial Cavalry is charging. Provincial Cavalry is terrible from a morale perspective and they're already damaged anyway. But this European Mercenary unit managed to make it across in pretty good order. But now my infantry have no one else to shoot at, so they're going to fire by fire by rank. Yeah, but they can't hold. Let's get my artillery to hit this Provincial Cav unit coming in. Let's just make both of these howitzers focus on dropping <laughs> dropping carcass shot on the center. So let's turn the fire wheel off for this unit and turn it on again. Could you imagine if I had shrapnel shot? Just how beautiful this would be. There you go the fifth light horse. And here comes the sixth light horse. They're wavering. Well, they haven't even made it to the combat yet, but they've had enough. The hell, there you go, the first volley's coming in, the first canister shots. I'm whipping across. Oh, this is beautiful slaughter. And 
Here comes the second again. The volleys are coming in. Oh, beautiful. So much damage. But this is going to be an interesting little block of units to try and cross. The 12th Regiment, the 12th, the 43rd. And one cavalryman. Oh, if we had a quick kind of, uh, carcass shot right now, that would be perfect. Here comes my canister shots. They're doing plenty of damage. Yeah, I've not seen that entire block off, as well as the cavalry. Oh, beautiful. Most of those will probably return, because they won't have lost enough men to make the, uh, actually make the route permanent, like plenty. Actually, they are shattered. Comes another Gorky Hussar unit. More volleys whipping to cut down the light horse. God, there's still so many men. This is the reason why I wanted to move this army into position. Hey, they're trying to actually shoot at us rather than walk into our gunfire. How dare they? That he's taking the smart fellas. Well, till my own the volleys kick in. Here comes the carcass shot. Watch out, officer. Oh, you. No. I was going to say that guy was lucky. He was not. More cavalry. I mean, we are going to run into an ammunition problem at some point. This artillery unit, I may as well just make them fire round shot onto the crossing. Don't bother actually attacking anyone, just put more artillery on in the centre. In the centre of this absolutely massive block of men. So who are you? You look like the um, wild men from uh, the United States. Or well, the long rifleman, I should say. God damn. Such slaughter. Such chaos. Such destruction. I mean, yeah, the cavalry are going to soak up the first shots. I mean, not willingly, by the looks of it. Fire at the 35th. The 104th might start to run out of ammunition, but this is why we have infantry behind as reserves. Carcass shot coming in against the cavalry. Oh, it's such. It's so good to see. Yep, yeah, so that wave of men has been pushed back. Now here comes the, the 10th Regiment alone to try and face off against this threat. I mean, they do have lots of light infantry back here. Oh, okay, this is, the, this is the last army coming in to support them now. The volleys come in. The cavalry's gone. God damn. Yeah, but could you imagine fighting these guys in a city battle? How much more damaging this would be to my infantry compared to this, where I can just slaughter them from a very comfortable position.
Damn these sounds. Make sure your guard mode on, actually. But yeah, this there's Okay, you might actually specifically focus on that infantry unit because they are potential potentially just gonna sit at range and snipe at my position. So you guys also engage them. Oh. So much death. This is what these big gun batteries give you. Is this three guns? It's five, and that's just a massive, massive uplift in firepower. But yeah, we've seen enough of watching these guys get killed by artillery. It's beautiful, but there is only so much of it you can watch. Both our characters again focusing on the center. You guys just keep blasting away. So it's the 15th Regiment of Militia pushing up now. As more Karka shot comes in. And the whole lot get pushed back. Second Regiment of Foot. And it's a mercenary unit. Well. Yep. They are not long for this world. Okay, finally, this last little cluster is it. And once they're routed... Let's run my light horse over here. Parker shot coming in. Oh, it's so beautiful. Watch the last units. Okay, good. They're, okay, so they're all routing, in which case, view halloo. Cross the bridge, cross the fort. Everyone stop firing. Ignore them. Let's chase down these guys that are right here. So let's focus on the the units that are up front. Well, mostly up front. Charge! Because hopefully these guys will run through the block of men to get to the front, and they'll kill people on the way up, hopefully. And they are... Oh, oh yes. Nope, pistols off. General... Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yes. See, so not only are cavalry useful to have in reserve in, sit in um, river battles, they can also really do a number on the enemy <laughs> when they've finally broken. Oh, chase down the 19th, wipe them out. you guys there's only two of them there you should knock them out oh we're not gonna get them all okay chase down this unit there's only two of them the fourth regiment there's one guy there ah they, they duped us there we go sometimes if you right click they'll spin around and actually attack you or defend themselves oh that was a lovely lovely battle oh yes look at that we lost 177 men they lost nearly 6,000 24 pounds of heavy horse guard artillery, 974 kills. It's pretty nice, gone from experience 1 to experience 4. And my infantry weren't any slouches either, they've all gone, gained an experience. <sighs> Suck it, Württemberg. Back you go. <laughs> yep, the Barbary States know what's coming. They know we are marching our way along the coast. A rake in Moscow. Interesting. Let's get you down to Crimea. Fleet arrives here. 
So what sort of enemy res enemy forces do we have? Nothing here. Really. Chomp. We are victorious. Make ready. So you go sit on that trade post while we call in... Call in the trade ships. Oh, you, I sent you up here, didn't I? Yep, I am a fool. You, everyone except the galley. Sail over to West Africa. You recruit sloop. You recruit sloop. So quick, okay, quick lime shells have gone to explosive rockets. We're going to change that. We're going to change... Oh, I don't know, actually. Rockets, we're probably going to definitely change and instead go for shrapnel shot. Oxford is recruiting threshing machine, which isn't bad. So you want interchangeable parts. Interchangeable parts needs top... We don't have any top tier industry buildings, that's why we can't do those. We've done all of the philosophical texts. So I suppose we better carry on what we're doing, actually. Oxford, you're going to go for machine rifling to get those green jackets involved. We've also got sharpshooters and Irish rifles, which is lovely. Salamanca, you can actually continue with. You can carry on with threshing machine. Good. Okay. So let's do some. Grading in old blighty. Because London's... Oh my god, 27,000. and going 168 a turn. That's huge. Obviously we now have Paris secured. So now we can actually do more widespread investing. We are upgrading the roads. Upgrade the church school. I mean, you guys probably can't leave, can you? You can leave. You men stay inside. Let's push you guys up to the front. So the French can't charge. It can't. Well, you might actually pre uh, push at Brussels. You guys are going to cross over to this bridge. To see if you can intercept the Württemberg forces there. You guys are going to drive east. Okay, let's keep upgrading our tax producing buildings. At some point we have to bite the bullet and upgrade our um, upgrade our ports. But that's going to be a very expensive endeavour. All these upgrades. We're going to start to the north in areas that are less likely to get attacked. Not so worried about yield. Vilnius, pick up some more. Another one unit of line. Down here. You're going down to the port there. Let's get these lifeguards to chase up to Randall Axford. We can't move on to Algiers this turn, but can push. Got one ship there that's been recruited, but that's not a problem. Horace Davidson, can you leave Madrid if we move all these chaps in? Minus one. We can do that. They'll complain next turn, then be okay. Let's march you down to Cartagena, ready to be shipped over to Cagliari. Good, and Gibraltar, let's send any spare infantry we have down to start recruiting a garrison for Gibraltar. We've started the recruitment of another army here. Okay, what we are going to do is take Mark Ockren, go hit Brussels, and end the episode there. So, looking at the timer, because we're well over. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Brussels by Mark Cochran. Looks like we've got some couple of interesting units here to take out but nothing that's going to overly phase us really thanks for watching everyone cheers